Nirbin. This is a rendering of uh, our parish church here in Madison. And this is done by really church decorating out of uh, Cresco, Iowa. They are a small family business that um, does this kind of work. So they do a few things. One is plaster repair and reconstruction. And then also uh, the actual painting, decorating, etc. So this is a rendering that they came up with for our parish church. So I just want to highlight a few things. I'm going to be doing three videos. So this will be the first one. Uh, there's another rendering, which will be the second one. And then the third video will be uh, about a few miscellaneous things in our church. So a few things that you notice already. Um, the coloring, uh, the sacraments up here in the arch, uh, kind of imitate what we have already. One thing that's new is this text, um, Body and Blood Most Holy, Be the Delight and Pleasure of My Soul. This comes from a novena prayer to St. Thomas Aquinas, and um, there's other texts uh, that we don't, we're not uh, uh, set on this one per se, uh, and none of this is determined at all. I just want to offer that uh, as a point of guidance. And uh, so this is to help get some opinions, suggestions, etc. Uh, so, uh, so you'll notice a few things in this rendering. I'll, I'll mention them that, that we can uh, see them in the second one. Uh, so, uh, obvious one is the church, the flooring is a lot different, um, has, it uh, looks like would be tile, um, open to your suggestions about whether or not this is a good option for us. Uh, we'll, we'll maintain the wood in the sanctuary, the wood floor, um, but, uh, just wondering what your, um, uh, um, uh, opinions are in terms of what this would be like, um, and then, so a few things that will be different in the second rendering is the color uh, that I'm going over with my cursor right now with Mary and Joseph's altar and then also behind the high altar. This will be different in the second rendering. It's a little more subtle, uh, muted might be a way to say it. Um, uh, when I looked at it, just you know, this is a little bit too busy. It kind of takes our attention away from uh, the high altar. So just want to offer that as a point of guidance. Uh, also, the coloring of the pillars, or the columns, will be different in the second rendering. So, uh, just want uh, to you know, give you a chance to look uh, at this. And uh, one thing to mention also, that these images here of the sacraments, they're merely placeholders. These aren't the final images that would be uh, present. Um, some of them I like, some of them I don't like. So, uh, But it would be up to an artist to... Um, have a similar theme to them and coloring, etc. So just want to offer that as, uh, again, just a point of guidance. Um, so hopefully this is a help to you. And the next, so I'd like you to consider a few questions. Uh, the first is, what do you like about this rendering? Second would be, what don't you like? Uh, the third would be, uh, what catches your attention? Or, uh, excuse me. Um, uh, what questions do you have uh, would be number three. And then number four, what catches your attention? Um, so just want to uh, offer that as a point of guidance, or not a point of guidance, but just a point of conversation. Uh, so this video will conclude, and then please watch the second video uh, to um, see the second rendering. Thanks.